Hi guys, Simply Mills here and I am here today to do another WOW video. For those of you who don't know, I started a series on my channel where I share a word of the week. It can be from inspiration, from sermons, from a text, from a song, anything that, you know, speaks to me. So, I just want to thank you guys for tuning into my channel and I hope you stick with me to hear the word, right? So my word for today is just do it. So I was reading some scriptures yesterday. I'm trying to go through the Bible, read a few chapters a day and I, well I recently started so I am at Genesis chapter 19 and I, there was some very interesting things in that chapter quite a few so I think I would make a part two to this video because I don't want this video to get too long right so I will just read the verses that I'm gonna speak about today and tell you what is the word that I got right so it's um, Genesis chapter 19 verse 12 and it says I'm reading from my students life application Bible this is an awesome Bible if you are looking for a Bible to study to help you study um, probably for teenagers as well it's a very good Bible before I do so let me give you a background of what the story is about um, it's this the chapter is entitled God destroys Sodom right and that's the evening when the angels came to the entrance of the city they saw a lot sitting there and some strange things were happening and you know they came to Lot's house to find out this like final two were the two men that passed right and they were angels just trying to speed it up for you um if you really need to know the story more you can always check in Genesis 19 and read about it right so I'm at the point where the angels are in his house and Lot did not want to send the angels outside because people were banging at the door to get it was it was crazy like the people were banging on the door so that they can get anybody to sleep with basically and I'm like that's a whole other video by itself but I'm at verse 12 and they're asking the angels are asking um lot do you have any other relatives here in the city the angels asked Get them out of this place, sons-in-law, sons, daughters, or anyone else. For we will destroy this city completely. The stench of the place has reached the Lord, he has, and he has sent us to destroy it. So Lot rushed out to tell his daughter's fiancés, Quick, get out of the city. The Lord is going to destroy it. But the young man thought he was only joking. At dawn the next morning the angels became insistent hurry they said to Lot take your wife and your two daughters who are here get out of here right now or you will be caught in the destruction of the city when Lot still hesitated the angels seized his hand imagine that the angels seized his hand and the hands of his wife and two daughters and rushed them to safety outside the city for the Lord was merciful run for your lives the angels want do not stop anywhere in the valley and don't look back don't look back escape to the mountains or you will die oh no my lords please Lord Berg. you have been so kind to me and saved my life and you have granted me such mercy but I cannot go to the mountains Disaster would catch up to me there, and I would soon die. See, there is a small village nearby. Please let me go there instead. Don't you see how small it is? Then my life will be saved. All right, the angel said, I will grant you your request. I will not destroy that little village, but hurry, for I can do nothing until you are there. From that time on, the village was known as Zoa. The sun was rising as Lot reached the village and then the Lord rained down fire and burning sulfur 
from the heavens on Sodom and Gomorrah. He utterly destroyed them, along with the other cities and the villages of the plain, eliminating all life, all life, people, plants, and animals alike. But Lot's wife looked back as she was following along behind them and she became a pillar of salt i know that was a bit much to grasp but the i read from verse 12 to verse 26 but i just wanted to touch on a few things right so the first thing just do it sometimes we are so comfortable or we get so comfortable doing things a certain way sometimes it's not necessarily that that way is wrong but we get comfortable doing things a certain way or we could be doing things the wrong way all the time and sometimes I think I talk about it in a previous video. Sometimes we're doing the same thing and getting the same results and we're wondering why things are not changing and so on. But when we get comfortable, it's very easy for us to let things slide by. Like we get oblivious or let's say immune to certain things happening around us and we're just so comfortable we don't want to move and sometimes god is telling us god is nudging us god is showing us different paths we should go and because we are so comfortable where we are we just like mm -mm, i not i don't want to move from there yes i just can't be bothered i'm comfortable this is what i know about this is what i'm accustomed to i ain't moving away right and sometimes god could be behind us for over and over again he should he could give us he gives us signs he could tell us in many different ways but we just so stubborn we don't want to move and all god is asking us is to obey him sometimes we linger we think we think we think about oh gosh if i leave if i do this if i don't do this what will happen we wonder about so many things and we hesitate you see lord's wife <laughs> that is a serious thing you know that like she hesitated and she looked back and one it was disobedience because the angel specifically said don't look back i don't know if she thought he was joking like he could say whatever don't look back my foot like i'm going to look back or is it that her heart was so much involved in the man she just she she just couldn't help but look back now we really have to be careful right because sometimes there is a, a a fire coming a fire coming behind us sometimes there's destruction coming sometimes there's an accident sometimes there's then there's pain coming and God nudging us come get out get out get out get out of your situation get out of that house get out of that workplace get out look God has been telling us get out of certain things and we just lay back like I like where I am I mean it might not be the exact way we want it to be like everything might be hunky dory but if I leave I don't know what's gonna happen what is gonna happen right but God is asking us to trust him because he has a plan. Why would God take you out of something and carry to something worse? Why? He knows what he is doing. He knows what he's doing. He has a plan for every single one of us. And all he asks us to do is to obey him. Just do it. Oh gosh, just do it now. That is probably what he does be telling me sometimes. Like I am so stubborn at times and he will be like, Mel. Just do the thing now. You're sticking, you're sticking. That's something you say in Trinidad. Like when you're taking real long to do something. Gosh, girl, you're sticking. And sometimes things happen to us because of our own delay. We delay things for our own selves. Sometimes 
friends could be telling us look i don't think this is a good situation you need to come out of it i could see this that coming up down the road sometimes people tell us you know but we just choose to ignore and lay back because in back to what i keep saying we feel comfortable and that brings me to the point of trusting in god yes we may not see where god is taking us we may not know what is on the other side of our situation but the important thing is to trust God because He loves us, He cares for us, and He has a plan for us. God is good, you know. God is good. Now, I have some other points that I want to share, but I'll do that in another video, probably a part two of this video. So that's what I have to share right now. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. I hope you got a message. Now before I go, I would like to ask you this question. What are you waiting on? Is there something in your life that you have a little nudge just to do something and you keep delaying, you put it off, you're considering, you're wondering, you're iffy about it. Is there a situation in your life that you are delaying? Just do it. Once it's a right and a moral decision, consult, consult with probably a good friend, a pastor, somebody who you know that God will lead and who can help you make the right decision or just make that step forward to moving upward, you know, taking you to a higher level because God wants us to be better he wants us to be happy he wants us to enjoy life right so why not just do it all right thank you so much for watching if you like this video please be sure to comment like subscribe and share with your friends